Hey, welcome back. I am still sharing with you the guest host videos that were done by some kind friends of the show. Today's guest host is a Malaysian-based international TV host, cookbook author, and overall food enthusiast. She's going to be sharing a sandwich of her history with us for International Sandwich Sunday. Please welcome Anis Nabila. Hello, Barry. Thanks so much for having me on Sandwiches of History. I'm super excited to share my recipe. And today I am making a recipe of sandwiches of my history. It's a sandwich um, that I grew up having. My mom used to make this for me and my siblings. It is inspired by our national dish, nasi lemak. It has some of the same components like sambal, boiled eggs, and cucumber. So let's get cooking. Okay, to make my sambal first, I am going to blend my dried chilies that I've boiled. I'm using a food processor, but you can also use a blender with some water. We're gonna make chili paste. Now I'm gonna blend my onion, garlic, my roasted shrimp paste. We call this balachan in Malaysia. A little bit of water. Okay, to make the sambal first, I'm gonna heat some vegetable oil. Best to use a wok for this. Once the oil is hot, saute the chili paste. I'm gonna saute the chili paste until the liquid dries out and it's nice and caramelized. Stir it every minute. But I'm gonna use a splash guard so my kitchen stays mess free. My chili's done. And now I'm gonna add the rest of the blended ingredients. I'm gonna cook this until it dries out again. Okay, so this is almost done. It looks like the liquid has almost completely dried out. But you want to keep on stirring because what we're looking for in Malay is called pecah minyak, which loosely translates to oil splitting. So you kind of want to see the oil appearing on top. Okay. okay, this is what you're looking for. You can see the oil has appeared on top and on the side. And now, I'm going to add the tamarind juice. Sugar, this is really important. And some salt, not too much because the shrimp paste is quite salty. If you're not using the shrimp paste, season it to taste. It's about two tablespoons of water just to get everything together. And it is done. Okay, I'm gonna spread some softened butter on a slice of bread. And I am using salted butter for this. Now on the other bread, I'm going to put the sambal that I made just now, which I've left to cool at room temperature. I'm going to add some boiled eggs. I like boiled eggs. and some thinly sliced cucumber. I'm using Japanese cucumber. Close the sandwich. And that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna give this sambal boiled egg and cucumber sandwich a go. Mmm. So good. Tastes like my childhood. <laughs> A little spicy, but it's really, really good. But I am gonna plus it up just a little bit. Sorry, mom. Okay, to plus this up, I'm just gonna add some fried shallots, some crispy fried shallots. Alright. Okay, so now I'm going to give this sambal boiled egg and cucumber sandwich plus up with fried shallots a go. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. This is the first time I'm doing this. And I love it. 
it's so good. The fried shallots are just so nice, light and crispy. And it adds a nice little crunch. Oh, this is so good. Okay, so the original sandwich, the sambal, boiled egg and cucumber, is just absolutely delicious. That tastes like my childhood. The boiled egg sort of brings down the spiciness of the sambal and the cucumber adds a nice crunch and freshness to the sandwich. I love that. I'm going to give that a 9.5. But the plus up one with the uh, deep fried shallots, oh, that was just perfect. The shallots add this nice umami flavor and that extra crunch um, and I'm gonna give that a 10. Uh, so I hope you guys will try this recipe and when you do let me know in the comment section and thank you so much again Barry for having me. See you again soon. Bye! <laughs>